Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about implementing WebSocket client and server on ASP.NET Core. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Do you want to earn $100,000 a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just 3 months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. Alright, let's start with creating a WebSocket server. For this, we need to select ASP.NET Core Empty Application and click Next and name it WS Server. And select .NET 6.0 as a long term support and create it. After the project is generated, we will get ourselves a bank ASP.NET Core 6.0 template. We can delete the unused Hello World and point also modify app dot run to run async to use websocket in our project we call the use websocket function on our web application instance for our convenience we can also call builder dot webhost dot use url method to set the url and port for our server in this video I am using localhost as the URL with port 6969. Then we need to map an endpoint to be used for our WebSocket server. We will do this by using app.matmap third with our root and context which will be used for handling WebSocket. Here we will use WS as the WebSocket root. Inside the context, we will configure the endpoint to accept only WebSocket connections by implementing a check of context.websockets.iswebsocket request. Then set the status code to bad request 400 if it is not a WebSocket request. After checking the connection is a WebSocket request, we can use the this code to refine the current connection instance. To send a message, we can use send async method on our WebSocket connection instance. The send async method accepts array segment byte, WebSocket message type enum bool of end of message and cancellation token as its parameter. To send a text to the client, we need to convert it into a byte array and create an array segment byte with it. So here's the example. Now let's make our WebSocket server return the current time in hour minute seconds format every one second to the client we can do this by wrapping the logic that we use to send messages inside a while through loop and using thread dot sleeve on thousand to implement the one second delay we will also check to only send the message when the websocket state is open and break the loop if the state is closed or aborted voila our websocket server is done now to check it we need a WebSocket client. To create a WebSocket client, we need a console app. So we will be creating console app and name it WS Client. And it should also be in .NET 6 created. To create a WebSocket client, we can use the client WebSockets from system.net WebSockets. To connect with a WebSocket server, we can use the connect async method with the URL and cancellation token. Now let's create a task to receive a message from the server while the connection is alive. To receive the message, we can use the receive async method on our WebSocket client instance. The receive async method accept array segment byte and cancellation token. To receive a message, we need to create a new byte array as a buffer which we will use to create the array segment byte for cancellation token we will use cancellation token dot run remember that the result is still in byte array to display it as a string we need to encode it first we can do it by using encoding dot utf8 dot guided string method lastly we need to check if the connection is not closed before processing the result we can do this by checking if the message type is not closed so here is the whole final code 
of WebSocket client. Now I'm going to run WebSocket server and WebSocket client. So after that, it will show on the client side. So I'm running the WebSocket server. So when I run the server and the client, so it is showing the current time on my console on the WebSocket client. All right, let's move towards another topic, handling multiple WebSockets. Let's implement a simple chat room application with WebSockets by modifying our previous code. To keep track of multiple WebSocket connection, in the WebSocket server, we can store the WebSocket connection instance in a list. To broadcast a message to every client, we can create a function that calls a send async method with every so WebSocket instance that is open in the list. To emulate a chat room, we will add a username for the connected client, which is fetched via the request parameter. We will also broadcast whenever a client is connected. Now, let's handle the process of receiving messages. Similar to the client side, we can call the receive async method with a buffer while the socket state is open. Let's wrap this logic in, into a function receive message. Now to broadcast the receive message to other clients, we need to modify our receive message function. Let's add action web socket receive result byte handle message delegate in our receive message function parameter. Call the handle message delegate by passing the result of receive async and buffer. Final code looks like this. Here people join the room also they want to left the room they can use that by broadcasting. Here are the receive message method and broadcast ma method over here. So we will be now considering modifying web socket client to handle sending message to the server. All right, first add the username input, which will be used in the chat room. So it will take the input for the username over here. All right, create a task to handle sending the message to the web, web socket server. Here we will read the input from the user and send it by calling send async on the client web socket instance. We will add a check to exit the chat room with exit. We have both receive and messages tasks running asynchronously. Finally, handling the client's exit by sending close async whenever one of the threads is finished, then await until all thread is finished to close the program. So here's the code, whenever one of the thread is finished, then await until all thread is finished to close the program. All right, let's run the project. After running, it will ask the name. It's connecting to server, one user is connected. All right, I have two users connected at the same time. So if Spencer say hi and John say also hi, it will show to all users at a time. So here's the example you are seeing right now. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned the concept of how to implement WebSocket client and server in ASP.NET Core. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.